Gary, not the result we were after yesterday as we went down to Geelong by a final margin of 23 points. Uh, fought it out in the end in a high quality game against a high quality opposition. What was your take? Well, first off, congratulations to the girls because they had a wonderful victory beating obviously the top side and no doubt it would be their best win in the short time that they've been under the umbrella of the Port Melbourne Football Club. In relation to the men, look, I thought we played some pretty good footy in different stages of the game and at different stages of the game. The first quarter to have 10 scoring shots, we jumped out of the blocks again in the second quarter to actually kick the first couple of goals and get a little uh, short, I guess, lead or small lead. And then we just lost the plot for 15 minutes after that. We lost centre bounces because our ruck craft was poor. Our mids were over handballing. We felt the heat. We then became undisciplined through obviously Dil Conway and uh, Ryan Pendlebury as well. Two of the probably more experienced players within the team. And if they're serving up that sort of rubbish, well, you can imagine how other players feel. And we then just let them take the game away from us. Scoring, what was it, eight goals in that second quarter, it's pretty damaging now. We can obviously say that they've got some really big boys in their front, in their front half who can take uh, lots of catches. Defensively, I thought we played them at times in a poor manner. And obviously we got our, our right royal whack. But then in the second half, we obviously tended to play more of the style that we want, that we won more of the 50-50s. Our ball movement was much quicker and sharper and a bit slicker. So uh, even at three-quarter time, we were 28 inside 50s to their 50. So once we got it inside, we were pretty efficient. The trouble was that uh, they were clunking it up the other end, Sammy. So last quarter, we got back to what was it, around about three, four goals and obviously outscored them. So if you said there were some really good passages of play, it was a pretty hot game, it was a high tempo game, good standard game. But yeah, we uh, did some really undisciplined things and lost the plot for about 15 minutes and subsequently that caused us to lose another home game. Uh, we struggled to stem the bleeding, uh, if you like, when the momentum was all going Geelong's way in that 15 minutes. With the new 6-6-6 ruling this season, when an opposition is on such a roll like that, are you as a coach finding it more difficult to control that from the box from a, a tactical point of view? Yeah, it is somewhat uh, more difficult because obviously you can throw numbers behind the ball up until as, as late as last year, but you can certainly do that now. And we tried to do a couple of things in and around the stoppages, but I'm a, a coach that looks at the source and if you become undisciplined, that is something that a coach certainly doesn't like to see. That just becomes frustration and that just becomes pressure. And certainly we tried a couple of different things with different players in and around the stoppages, but Stanley, Abbott, Fort, Buzzer, and even their smalls in Parsons and uh, Simpson, Narkel, were uh, pretty damaging, mate. So 50-50 balls are something that's really hurt us throughout the course of the season. I guess the short answer is yes, we did try to do a couple of different things, but unfortunately that didn't stem the tide and uh, we had to do that at half time when we regrouped and gave the players some things to think about and actually put into practice in that third and fourth quarter. And so each of our last two games is going to be equally important from here on in if we want to secure our finals berth. What's the week going to look like from a um, six-day break point of view and some of the key focus points for you and the team against Frankston on Saturday? Yeah, we'll review the last 15 minutes of the second quarter. We'll point out where we think we obviously lost the game. The players have got to have a buy into that, of course. We'll have a short turnaround because it's a six-day break, obviously. We'll see what the rehab room and medical room is tonight. There might be a few dinted egos, I guess, at certain times so they may need a little bit of application of heat around the temples to try and find a few more <laughs> brains in there, if you like, Sammy. <laughs> and uh, we'll obviously have to take out uh, the things that we did well and try and do those for longer and be smarter and uh, more disciplined going into Frankston this week and, as you said, Sandy, the following week. Uh, and you mentioned the women, but just quickly off the field um, as well. We had the terrific initiative of the inaugural Borough Legends game take place yesterday. must have been great for you to see such a good crowd in attendance and no doubt catch up with a few of your former pupils as well. <laughs> yeah, it was great to see, Sammy, and a lot of those boys that actually did play. I must have been feeling my age because I certainly looked around the ground and of course there was a lot of real Borough Legends as obviously the title was and, and even great to see Harold come out after a great win and uh, 
join in the fun and of course Buster Harland and obviously Big Bonner's up in the forward line. I actually gave him uh, a bit of praise after the game. I said I thought he kicked for goal really, really well. And David Fanning and you know Mick Dillon, Corey McGrath, Paddy Rose. So they're all you know champions and who could ever forget what a lot of those guys did while they were here but also too for that 2011 Premiership uh, team. And obviously John Baird and uh, Toby Pimble will now have a little bit more to reminisce and try and get one up on each other. But great initiative, great day for the club except our loss to Geelong. Gary, bad luck on that uh, loss, but we'll cross our fingers for a more positive result in our final home game of the season against the Dolphins in round 19. Best of luck. Yeah, everything's crossed this week, Sammy. <laughs>